world's dirtiest rug. Also, I did get a new toy. KX250, 1995. Studio in the garage. Because there's a lot of light behind me, to make my face look good, I'm gonna use this. All part of the studio. <sighs> okay, so. I like this, uh, I like this, I like how it feels. Um, so what's new? This is what is new. The truck is finally tuned. It had EFI Live on it. I decided to go with Smarty. Um, I did the Smarty SSR. I will be doing a review on this later, just because there's really none on YouTube. But, uh, there's really not, honestly, there's not really any, like, good long videos on YouTube about the Smarty SSR. I'll talk about it a little bit in this video, but mostly it'll just be me driving around and just kind of getting kind of my first impressions. I've done about four custom tunes on it so far, and um, they're all written by me. <laughs> so I've done about four so far, and um, I'm still figuring out like how they're going to work and fine tuning it. There is a heavy power increase, which is nice, but the fuel economy has gone down. That might be because I'm rolling coal everywhere, but you know, I don't know. So, in this video, to demonstrate the power of the Smarty SSR, we're going to have to outsource for some help. Also, if you hear a lot of auto-tune noise, auto, um, auto-focus, if you hear a lot of auto-focus noise, it's because the mic is right on top of the camera, and the camera lens is noisy. So I am sorry about that, but you know, we're doing our best. Also, side note before we do all that, Loud and proud, I want to win your second gen Longhorn diesel truck. So, I bought a sticker. Ah, very nice, very nice. So you know who he is because you've watched William Seth Johnson's channel. But this is the first time he's gonna be on this channel because he lives at my house now. And that is awesome. Although, Seth, I know you're gonna end up watching this. I do miss you. All right, buddy, come on in. All right. What's up? All right, so we got Buddy here. We're both gonna be doing like fun car stuff together on the channel. Uh, he's got a Jeep. We're actually gonna be making some videos here soon about his TDI swapped uh, Cherokee. Very difficult. <laughs> yeah, very difficult. It's a 95, right? The Jeep? Yeah, no, it's an 89. 89, so it's an 89 Cherokee with a TDI swap from a what year bug? Uh, 2000. 2000 year bug, yeah. So, definitely gonna be some content coming there, so that'll be really fun. Um, but buddy, you get to be my test. Yeah, test. smoke test. Literally. Smoke test. All right, <laughs> here we go. Okay. Except more coal. More coal. Okay, so you don't. It, we just rewatched the video, and there is literally you. The garage still smells like coal, and there's coal all on the top. Like, look at this. Like, you can just see it, just like black smoke, yeah. just hanging out, like up there too. There's not a lot. You, you have to see it more in person, but oh my gosh, that was crazy. Yeah. We're Time to go. Asthma now. Yep.
going pretty good. Is it pretty good? Yeah, so far. Oh boy. <laughs> it look it left a it looked a mark of coal on the ground. What do we have here, buddy? Mm, diesel. <laughs> I can tell. Woo. Fun fact, uh, the seal between my um, my uh, exhaust manifold and my turbo is a little loose. <laughs> and so I was I think I rolled a little bit of coal in my hood. Oopsies. Let's go see what it looks like. Yeah. I'm just curious to see what it looked like. Right there. <laughs> yeah. oh, man, sick. That was pretty good. Okay, checking for blow by. That's Cummins power for you, baby! Oh man. Dang. It took a second for it to lit up, but uh yeah, that wasn't too bad. Alright. This is Levi on my channel. Buddy's filming. Like, subscribe. Hope you like what you see. We'll catch you next time. Boom.